What's up, new YouTube? This is your man, Paul Radio Man 2094 here. Back again with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my new birthday gift, the iPod Touch, 7th generation. So, let's go all through all the specs real quick. Stand by. All right, so you can pick this up at Walmart or Amazon or Apple.com. I'll leave the links up in the description. The prices range from 200 to 400 bucks. So for the 32 gig version, that's 200 bucks. The 128 gig version, 300 bucks. And the 256 gig version, 400 bucks. And it's available in six different colors. You got space gray, you got gold, silver, pink, blue, red, AKA, product red for the display you got a four inch retina display with the resolution of 1136 by 640 now that's 326 for the ppi and then for the storage you got 30 you got a choice either 32 gigs 128 gigs or 256 gigs of storage and then you got two gigabytes of ram now for the processor you got the apple a10 fusion chip so if you're one of those people that are down with the Apple ecosystem, that means flagship specs we're talking here. Flagship specs. Now, it's supposedly supposed to run iOS 14 according to the website, but it's probably going to be iOS uh, 13, I believe. But well, I'll find out, though. But for the battery life. For music, you got up to 40 hours, and then you got video playback time up to 8 hours. And it's running Bluetooth 4.1. And then cameras on the rear. You got an 8 megapixel. And then you got a front 8, meg 8 megapixel. But there's plenty of camera features we'll be talking about. Probably whenever I do my full review. But as of right now we're just doing taking a look at what it, what it looks like. And then going from there. And then go through all the features and stuff. Connect this and all that good stuff. So let's take a look at this. Shall we? All right, Apple iPod Touch 7th generation. Now, I remember this type of presentation from, uh, you know, from the 4th the, the generation I had. And this is the 32 gig version. And see what color this one is. Now this is, yeah, Space Gray. Apple, designed, in, designed by Apple in California. Okay, now, on the other note, the other note, I'm already impressed with the Beats Flex. This is one of the most underrated uh, pair of earbuds I reviewed on my channel, but these are made by, these are owned by Apple as well. I was already impressed with these, so, now let's turn up my hype levels for, hype levels for the iPod Touch. Again, this is my birthday, sorry if I'm being a little awkward. But yeah, today is my birthday, so one thing I wanted to say real quick before I get started. Shout out to all those people that told me happy birthday, all my friends, all my family. I really appreciate it. So shout out to everyone that told me happy birthday. I really appreciate it. 27, so I can't believe I'm pushing my 30s. But now with that being said, let's unbox this and see what it looks like. So here we go. Let's peel this up, wrap. Okay, and then we'll stick that back here for now. Just a little background dressing. All right, and it folds down like that. Watch, hold on a second. All right, my bad, my tripod broke, so I just have to do it old school, just putting my phone on the stand and stuff. It is what it is, so inside, so here's the iPod. Okay, and then Let's take a look at what's inside. Designed by Apple in California. Okay, I like that. Okay, so inside we get our quick start guides and all that good stuff. So let's see what you get. And then another one, and of course you got your Apple stickers. Leave those to the side because I'm gonna take a look at those. Oh yeah, and then you got your USB-A to lightning adapter 
and it's nicely wrapped up. I like that. And of course, and then you got some earbuds. Now, I'll take a look at the quality here in a moment. But just put everything back for now. Might leave the cord out too. But we'll definitely leave leave the Apple stickers out for probably for the thumbnail. Oh yeah, and then Yeah, we'll leave all this stuff out. Why not? Why not? Let's have a little bit of fun, guys. It's my birthday, so let's our let's enjoy ourselves. Shall we? Watch, let me fix this real quick. There we go. Alright, so we just folded back up the box. Alright, so now let's take a look at the iPod Touch 7th generation. See if we can get this out without breaking it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Watch. Hold on a second, guys. Alrighty, guys. I actually got it out. So, but watch. This is how it looks. But let's uh, peel off the sticker real quick. Nice. Put that to the side for a minute. I'm gonna use this as a little background dressing for the, probably for the thumbnail. You know what I mean. Watch up. Wait a wait a minute. One thing I wanted to say real quick: the the presentation almost reminds me of the Beats Flex with that you know pull tab and stuff. That's pretty cool. But real quick, I got everything back. So now let's take a look at the iPod Touch. So of course this is how it looks. I'm sorry that my camera's a little off, but it is what it is. Just as of right now, this, we just got to do it like this. But of course, this is how it looks. This is the space gray color. Of course, you got your Apple brand, Apple insignia right there. iPod branding. You got your 8 megapixel camera flash. I'll find out what that part is. And of course, here's your home button. And of course, you got your headphone jack. Headphone jack, of course. Apple, the rest of your products. Bring that back. And then you've got your speaker right there. Oh yeah, and then your power buttons right there. And that's pretty much it. Now let's just power this on real quick for the first time. Of course, here's your Apple branding. Takes me back to the days whenever I first got my iPod. But I'll, be up, I'll buy a new tripod tomorrow. So as of right now, we're just going to do it like this. But, alright guys, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get this set up. Then we'll come back in. Stand by. Oh, another thing. I tested out the earbuds. They sound pretty good. Pretty loud. But, here's the cool thing real quick. Watch, let me unlock my iPod real quick. Okay, now watch closely. Watch the display. This is compatible with the feature since it's running iOS 14. Of course, you have the compatibility with... Oh yeah, you got the uh, W1 chip on these. So you got that pop-up on the iPod Touch too. Same with the iPhones and then the iPads. So yeah, that's cool. Just wanted to share that real quick, but stay tuned for more videos. I'll probably be getting the Beats solos and stuff and then testing them out on this since I got an Apple device now. I'll probably use this device more for YouTube and stuff. And then in between, I'll be using my Galaxy as well. So, alright, so stand by. Alright y'all, so we back in. Now, uh, I got everything all set up. It's been a while since I used the uh, Apple, so I had to remake a password, put a new email in. 
But after using this one for an hour, this is an A plus times four. So this is definitely a high ranking on my YouTube channel. But you know how it used to be though? You know how I talk shit about Apple and all that shit? I'm actually impressed with this device right here. But that was one of my New Year's resolutions is trying out Apple products. So I'm, I'm, I definitely got this one now and I'm gonna probably get the iPhone SE. We'll cover that later or the iPhone 12. But stand by for those videos. But but yeah, it's a love-hate relationship with Apple, basically. I've always liked the the smooth performance on the iOS because I held an iPhone 12 in my hand and I felt how smooth it, smooth it was on the you know on the display and stuff. I was impressed with that. And then um and then I was uh in, impressed with the airplay feature because Granted, one of my family members uh, uses AirPlay to watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air all the time. So that it's basically Apple's version of Screencast, basically. But I was impressed with that. But just the only things I'm not impressed with as of right now, with especially with the new iPhone 12, you don't got a charger included in the box, and then you got and then you don't have like earbuds, you know, like those for instance. But the different one. The ones with the iPhone, what was it, 11 and 10? You got like lightning adapter. This has like the 3.5. That's just one of my things. Well, it's good that they came with it for the first time, but with the iPhone 12, you don't have the earbuds included in the box. And then you don't have, a, what's it called? The charger in the box. So you got to buy a, a charger separately. And then, and then this is, like what I was saying about the, you know, the Beats Flex, I did a full video on these. I'm impressed with these. This is the first Apple product that I covered. But the, the Beats Flex, though, is like an AirPods alternative. And then this is like an add-on feature because, you know, the iPhone 12 doesn't come with, like, you know, earbuds in the box. So, so it's giving you the ability to spend 50 bucks and stuff. But I was impressed with these. And then I'm impressed with this now. So this is the second one I covered. So stay tuned for more videos on this Apple product. And I'll be doing some more cases and stuff. I'll probably do a few cases for the iPhone or the iPod Touch 7 generation. My bad guys. My bad. But the size and all kind of feels like holding like the iPhone like SE almost. But stay tuned for that video. But yeah, this is a A plus times 4. But I'm impressed with this. This has everything that I have, I want on this. But there is a few things that, I don't know, you don't have like split screen multitasking and stuff, but not the biggest deal in the world because granted, I'm going to probably be using this to listening, like, you know, listen to music, watch YouTube videos, probably take advantage of that airplay and stuff. But yeah, this is going to be my full review right now, guys. So I'm just giving you guys my opinions with this so far. And then, uh... I messed around with uh, some of the apps and stuff. I'm doing a free trial with uh, Apple TV, so I'll give that a test. But yeah, A plus times four. But with that being said, yeah, A plus times four. And then the build quality on this is amazing, dude. I like that uh, that space gray color. Let's give me, let's get a wipe down real fast. But yeah, the space gray color looks phenomenal, dude. But let me go through all the ports real quick because since I haven't done a, because you know my tripod was messed up, I had to use like my phone kickstand and stuff. It is what it is. But real quick, let's go through all the features. Of course, there's your volume up and down rocker right here. And then on the bottom, you got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is the your lightning adapter port, your speaker on the bottom. Now the speaker on this, I haven't really tested it out, so we'll test this out together, guys. And of course, this is your, you got a four inch retina display. But if you're going to use this as like a regular MP3 player, you're in luck though. This is, this is the best on the market right now. And of course, this is your power button on the top. And of course, your camera right there, your flash. And then this is your, uh, what's it called? I think this is a noise canceling mic, but I'll find out here in a minute. But now. There's a way you can open this up. 
So you have to press the power button or the home button and then enter your pin. Now let me enter it real quick. Okay, so we're in. Now this is like the home screen. I like how like, you know, it's all gray and stuff, you know, like the color and stuff. And then this is the only one that you'll see black on. Like the blue, the pink, the gold, the product red and stuff like that. You'll have like the white on the front. So this is like your forehead and chin right here, but I can live with that. But this takes me back to the days whenever I first had an iPod Touch though. This is a little bit like different opposed to the one that I had. Mine was like the fourth generation and stuff. But yeah, it takes me back that old school nostalgia feel, especially with the, you know, the presentation and stuff. It takes me all back and stuff, you know. Nostalgia. Hashtag, you know, nostalgia. Now, of course, uh, of course, I got apps downloaded and stuff. So this is your home screen. I'm trying to see if I could, let me see if I could do this live real quick. All right. Just, okay, that makes sense. You could add like widgets and stuff, like your smart clock. Let's see if I could add that real quick. Okay. Yeah, up to date. Nice. Okay, and this is your weather. Of course, 31 degrees in Berlin. And then here's all your, your other things right here. But now, if you want to... Now, if you want to get out of your apps and stuff, you got to just swipe them like that. That's It's just that simple, you know. But after using this for an hour, I'm impressed. Okay, and then allow. Watch. There we go. Of course, this is how it looks. Now, real quick. Let me, uh, we're just having some fun, guys. Today's my birthday, but again. I just want to thank everyone that wished me a happy birthday this year. I really appreciate it. Shout out to you guys for telling me happy birthday, like on Instagram, Facebook, and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. I really do. But. Okay, so edit home screen. Now, but that's how you'll uh, move your apps and stuff. Ah. It takes me all back to, you know, Apple products and stuff where you have those little mess ups here and there. Hey, it is what it is. Now, real quick, watch, hold up a second. Okay, my bad. I was just fixing some stuff here. I was moving all my social media right here and stuff. But here's a, but yeah, you can finally move your widgets and stuff like that. And then you got, you got more right here. So yeah, this is pretty dope. And of course, I got my Google bar here. I got my weather right there. And of course, you could And of course, you could access your widgets right here too. I didn't even see that till just now. So, of course, battery percentage. You got I you're welcome to iPod Touch. You got the stocks. All that good stuff. And of course, today's my birthday, January 20th. All that good stuff. But real quick, let's go through all the settings real quick. And of course, oops, ah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't want to knock down my camera again. But watch. Okay, so you got Apple Care coverage available. Watch. Give me just a second, guys. Sorry guys, I had the video going, but I was just trying to get out of that real quick. But real quick, uh, here's uh, all your settings. So you got airplane mode, you got Wi-Fi, you got Bluetooth. So you can turn that off and on. You got notifications, sound, do not disturb, screen time. Uh, let's take a look at sounds real quick. Or let's take a look at the volume real quick.
one bottom firing speaker, of course, but we'll put that to the test here in a second. And of course you got sounds like, all right, we already, we already did that. So let's, <laughs> it's, it's been a long time since I used Apple, yo, so bear with me. Ah, hold on just a second, guys. Of course, you got Do Not Disturb. Of course, you could have it like on or scheduled always while iPod is locked. Allow calls from no one. Play with that at your, you know, time. Of course, you got General. Now, let's take a look at General. So, you got About Software Update. So, let's take a look at About. Paul's iPod Touch Software 14. Point three, so it's running the latest version of Apple iOS. Model name iPod Touch 7 generation. Model number, of course. And then here's all your stuff. Of course, I got 15 apps installed, 32 gigs. So I got 16 still available. I'm going to use the rest for music though. And of course, you got picture in picture. AirPlay. Of course, AirPlay to TVs. So like automatic, but I'll play with this here in a moment though, of course. And then iPod touch storage, background app refresh, date and time keyboard, dictionary. You guys get the idea, basically all your setup features and stuff like that. Of course you got screen time. Watch, let me go to screen time. Of course, 1.8. And you got downtime. You got app limits. Communication limits. Always allowed. Choose apps. You guys get the idea on all that shit. All right, let's go back. And of course, you got accept your home screen. Of course, add to the home screen. App library only. Okay. And then display and brightness. Watch, let's take a look at Control Center. So this is all your setup right here. Access that at your time and all that good stuff. Okay, display and brightness. Of course, I'm using dark mode, but if you want, you could add light. That's how it looks. But I'm going to add it on dark. But you know what? Come to think of it. Okay, let's go back. Come to think of it. I might use... I might use automatic until sunrise, custom schedule. But yeah, you could choose the time and stuff, but as of right now though, I think I'm just going to leave it on dark mode because I like it. Of course, accessibility. Okay. So if you're, of course, if you're hearing your vision impaired, of course, you're good to go on all the settings. All your setup features there. Of course, wallpaper. Yeah, I already accessed that. All right, so let's hit wallpaper. Of course, you could choose that. Dark appearances and stuff. And I'll access that later. Watch. And then cancel if you want. Oop. Why did I do that? Let me go back. Of course, Siri and search, passcode, all that stuff, and then all your apps and stuff are right there. And then that's pretty much it. Like I said, you could like erase the apps like that. But let's take a look at Siri for the first time using this. What's the weather right now? It appears to be partly cloudy right now. With a temperature of 30 degrees. Okay. There's Siri. And of course, uh, let's go to Google real quick. Let's go. Okay. Go to cricketwireless.com. Okay. So that's your website right there. So let's click on it. 
So, okay, here's your full website. So, no lag, pretty smooth. Like I said, I'm impressed with this. Okay, so watch. Let me uh, get rid of this real quick. Watch. I'm trying not to hit my... Oh, accidentally hit my tripod there, guys. Okay, and then exit. All right, so done. It's been a while since I used Apple, so bear with me, like I said, guys. Of course, there's all your stuff. Now let's uh, take it over to YouTube so you can hear the display and watch the, you know, what I'm trying to say is see the display and hear the speaker. So watch. Give me just a second, guys. All right, so I have a YouTube video pulled up. It was from my uh, Mortal Kombat 11 thing I just did. Watch, let me turn off the flash real quick. got to buy pack two in order to have all that. Probably a new story expansion too, but stay tuned for that. After I get done with the aftermath DLC. Watch, hold on just a second, guys. All right, my bad, guys. I had to fix my camera. My tripod's broken, so bear with me. So here's the displayer here. That's max volume. Beautiful display, 4-inch retina display. Of course, you got your bottom firing speaker, but it's even though it's not dual speakers, it's gonna get the job done though. So no complaints. Oh come on, dude! Let me turn on the flash real quick. Of course, you could have it on the table like that, though. Like I said, bear with me, guys. I'm trying to fix my tripod. But that's how it looks, though, when you're watching a YouTube video. Alright, so now let's uh, check gaming real quick. Stand by. Alright, so I got Asphalt 9 queued up, so let's play. You know what? I'm not going to kill you guys with this. Alright, so now I'm officially going to be playing Asphalt 9. 2 gigabytes, of, 2 gigs of RAM. So this is compatible for gaming, of course. PUBG and Asphalt 9. They got me in the midst, so let's go. Of course, I've seen a couple of stuff here and there, but not a big deal. Hold to drift. Okay. But check out the display though, dude. Oh, motherfucker. I'm trying to get first place though. Now this is pretty cool for gaming though. Nitrous. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Now I came in at first place. You see now it's kind of trash on the game, but you guys get the idea. You can game on this with no issues at all. Alright, so let's keep on going, shall we? Alright, so let me take a look at the camera real quick. So, of course, you got, let's start off with this one real quick. You got time-lapse, you got slow-mo, you got video, you got photo, square, panorama, all the good stuff. And, of course, let's take it over to the regular settings. But... This is just, I'm going to probably just consider this as like my unboxing and first impressions because I do want to use this for about a week and then come back with a, an actual full review. But I'll make a dedicated video just for, you know, photos alone. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> but anyways, let's, of course you got HDR, you got your flash, you got your timer right here. 
of course you got watch and of course here's the front camera here's me in the background yeah of course but yeah you guys get the idea but stay tuned for photos and stuff i'll do a dedicated video for this alum because i'm going to consider this as my full full review right now but i'll do a dedicated uh, camera test and then i'll come back in with you know stuff like that but anyways guys let's wrap this up stand by All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this uh, A plus times 4. I'm impressed. Now, shout out to Apple for making pretty incredible products like this, for instance. Like I said, um, it's a new year, so I'm going to be testing out a few Apple products here and there. I got, I tested out the Beats Flex. I got the Beats Flex. I was impressed with those. I'm impressed with that. I was impressed with the earbuds that came with it. Good sound and stuff, but... Hey, if you're going to use these daily. But let's take a look at the, the pop-up feature one more time. Since, why not take advantage of that W1 chip? So let's take a look real quick. One last time. And of course, battery percentage. And then there's the picture of the Beats Flex. So this is pretty cool. And then let's turn it off for now because I'm not using it. Okay, you know, yeah, that, that thing's pretty cool, though. <laughs> and then just hit done. That's how you set up Beats headphones, AirPods, all that good stuff. But I'm just going to hit it once and then power off. But anyways, guys, triple or A plus times four on this. I'm impressed. So stay tuned for the dedicated camera test. I'll probably do a second review. How my user experience is for a week and stuff. And then go from there. And then I'll probably do some YouTube videos on this and stuff. Just record videos. All good stuff too. So stay tuned for stuff like that. But anyways guys. I'm going to wrap this up. So A plus times 4. Apple iPod Touch. 7th generation. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this one. So here's me one more time. Stand by. Come to think of it. Remember my Beats sticker that came with the Beats Flex? Yeah, they're made by the, from the same paper and stuff too. That's cool. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. The full review on the iPod uh, 7th generation. So stay tuned for more Apple products here in the future. I'm going to be doing a few case videos for this. And stuff like that. But even whenever you're holding it like this, you'll get your uh, time and stuff too. That's cool. It's, so it's considered a watch. But if you're going to use this as your regular MP3 player, do it. It's worth it. Or if you're going to use this for gaming, like I said, Asphalt 9 works pretty good. There's a couple frame drops here and there, like I said. But incredible though. Incredible. Oh yeah, another thing. I'm, I don't have to poke my fingers anymore too. Forgot to mention that. If you guys might have seen my Instagram post on that already. But yeah. So far though, I'm impressed with this. But I'll be touching on a little bit more on this. Once uh, once the first video has a lot of views and stuff. And then I'll... Uh, like I said, I'm going to do some case videos for this. And, and then go from there. But on that note. And then I wanted to... Thank everyone and shout out to everyone that wished me a happy birthday this year. I really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, iPod Touch 7th generation. Hit me up in the comments, like I said, and let me know what you guys think about this video. I'm sorry if I was a little off in the video and stuff, on the beginning and stuff. My tripod's broken. I got to go buy a new tripod. So I'll pretty much, uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow and stuff and then go from there. But. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Let me, let me know what you guys think about this video. But I'm Paul Radio Man 2094. I'm out, yo. Peace. Now another thing before I sign off, though, I forgot to mention on the bottom, you got your toggles right here. So that'll 
and here's your volume and then you could access your Beats headphones and your AirPods right there and then your Bluetooth and then your stuff right there and it's on night mode all that good stuff just wanted to do that real quick so like I said I'm Paul Radio Man 2094 I'm out